way back in the late 1960s, British Railway, as it was then, decided that the part of the main line, the old Midland and Great Northern Railway, between Sheringham and Melton Constable, was not viable and proposed to close it. With that decision, a number of railway enthusiasts, we will call them, decided that they would want to preserve part of the Midland and Great Northern Railway that had been closed and set about negotiations with British Railway to purchase the track bed because the track had been lifted by them. Which in essence was the beginnings of what we now call Poppy Line North Norfolk Railway. Also, members of the Middle Midland and Great Northern Railway Society and had been formed had purchased some steam engines from the Dye Wooden Yard down there in South Wales as engines to run on this forthcoming preserved railway. They were the beginnings of it. So you could generally say that from the early 1970s the railway we now know began to develop and move forward to become the preserved railway that we now see. Slowly but surely, progression was made from Sheringham towards Wayborn, with Wayborn Station being renovated to a condition so that trains could run through to it. The signal box at Wayborn is from Holt original station as by the time the negotiations had completed for the purchase of the track bed and Wayborn station or the lease of it the contractors closing the line had already demolished the original Wayborn station signal box so that was offered as a sweetener by British Rail to the MGN society to uh, recompense for the demolition of the original one. From then on, slowly and surely, over the years, until the mid-1980s, plans, aspirations and hopes were fulfilled and the railway extended up what is known as Kelling Bank to a site in High Kelling which is where the railway currently terminates and is called Old Station. Way back in the late 60s, as I've previously mentioned, a band of the original members of the Middle and Great Northern Joint Railway Society were after steam engines to run on this preserved railway. And from uh, uh, Barry, scrapyard in South Wales, they were able to purchase the B12 and the J15 for future running after preservation and renovation. Over the years they have managed to purchase a WD being a wartime wartime department, American based simple steam engine and more recently uh, F9 Black Prince from David Shepard, the famous artist. Then they've got the diesel locomotives. They've got four diesel shunters of various marks, if you want to call it that. And they've got a class 31 and a class 25, which the society owns. That makes up the engine touch base. Board. itself is a 
pleasant experience, offering the ability to step back in time to uh, an era where life wasn't so fast and decided on a microchip where hard work and physical activity was part and parcel of life. For the customer, the opportunity to see part of the nation's history operating and working and part of the, the county of Norfolk, both Holt and Sheringham, which offers activities to keep them stimulated and act active in their, their free time. It's an opportunity to see part of the heritage engineering of this country and is a relatively inexpensive day out. And for those who are interested, there is always the opportunity to become a volunteer. Whether it is in the sheds where we're talking from now, on a Thursday afternoon where you can chip away at an old 1800s carriage and have a bit of banter with some like-minded people, helping in the buffet, driving a steam engine, driving a diesel, or sitting in the office selling tickets. It's all there for you to do.